you'll love Italy. The food, the people, the architecture, it's just a wonderful place to be, a different dimension. I'm way behind in my gelato. Mm. First gelato in Rome. This time, two days later after arrival. Yum. Gelato in St. Peter's Basilica right down the street. St. Peter's took a hundred years to build. Michelangelo did the dome. And when you see it for the first time walking up in Vatican City, you will be amazed. It's a special place. And then the fountains in Rome. So many to look at. Piazza Navona is a gathering place for people to eat and drink, photograph. And then, of course, this beautiful Bernini <clears throat> fountain that everyone has to see when you come to Rome. Spectacular. The Eternal City is just a beautiful place to walk every day, cross the Tiber River, see the architecture, people walking their dogs. The pizza, oh my gosh. So many different kinds, pastas, the cooking. You could eat your way through Italy and still not try everything. But the river encloses the town. It feels like a town. And the historical part is in the center where we'll be staying. So everything is easily reachable by foot and a feast for the senses. Just being outside the Colosseum is amazing. And then, of course, the Sistine Chapel. I was in there alone before the museum opened, and no one else was there. It was quite a life-changing moment. So this time I saw the Pantheon, which is one of the oldest buildings in the world, and I didn't realize it was a tomb. The painter Raphael is entombed there, and it's quite a fascinating place. Then this incredible deli where local Italians go to get their cheese and salami. They know where to buy it. I just happened upon this place while I was walking around Testacio neighborhood. Each neighborhood is very distinct, so it's fun to see what each one has to offer. Thank you. So this is for you? Thank you. I love how Italians know how to eat. This is one of my favorite restaurants in Florence. There's always a line. That's a good sign. And one of the things I really enjoy doing is talking to local people. And I usually pick someone with a dog that they're walking because they are naturally more friendly. <laughs> this lady certainly was. And I could practice my Italian. And then Sicily in Termina. What an incredible island. It's the kind of place you never want to leave on the Mediterranean. Isola Bella Beach, which is completely empty in the winter. Another plus about going to Sicily. And in the winter, the Christmas lights are up in January still, which is spectacular. And no trip to Italy would be complete without seeing David Michelangelo's remarkably carved David in Florence.
Here's the view from the foothills of Mount Etna in Tarmina, an active volcano. You can see some smoke coming out of it. A beautiful place, especially in the winter. No crowds. And then back to Vatican City. This is from the top of St. Peter's, looking down over the town. And I really would love to share this with you. Get in touch. You're invited. And we can get on a call and answer your questions. Ciao.